This is mission control at one day, one hour, 24 minutes. Mission elapsed time. Columbia is approaching acquisition through uh, the Buckhorn, California station, beginning a pass over the continental United States. During this pass, we'll have uh, television from the payload bay cameras. That television will be transmitted through the Goldstone, California tracking station and the Merritt Island, Florida tracking station. The cameras will be remotely operated from the mission control center by uh, the INCO, the Integrated Communication Systems Engineer, Ed Fendel. Columbia Houston talking to you through Buckhorn now. We'll be with you for 17 and a half minutes. Howdy, Rick. Good morning. How are you doing today, Dr. Howe? Doing good. We're looking forward to this uh, TV that uh, you're going to be piping down to us. Oh, yeah, I get to be a regular special beat equipment with the TV. Hey, uh, one word that Joe passed to uh, John while ago that we didn't quite understand. We do not have an RCS-2 pad on board. Okay, uh, we will have that coming up to you uh, over the states here. What we were uh, trying to convey was that the timer update uh, was not changing, uh, and that was one thing that was called out for the Aurora Pass. Roger that. Okay, we understand that. And Columbia Houston, we have uh, message number 13 coming up to you. This pass will be uh, weather for uh, subsequent revs. Okay, we hear it. Well, it's hardly any doubt when you got one coming up. Okay, yeah, and it's a little bit out of sequence. We don't have message 12 to you yet, but we'll be getting that one up to you also uh, eventually. Okay. This is Mission Control. The second Capcom on this shift is now communicating with the crew, and that's astronaut Rick Houck. And Columbia Houston, uh, during our previous... TV scenes that you shot for us, Crip. Uh, we noticed your uh, right, I believe it was your, your right, perhaps your left shoulder strap uh, floating around. It might be worthwhile to double check that that's Velcroed. Uh. It won't stay in place. Okay, we just want you to keep your eye on that D ring then. Roger that. You mean the one he keeps getting his foot tangled in? I think that's the one, John. We'll give you an update on that, uh, Crip, as soon as we can. We're beginning to pick up some TV right now. A little fuzzy, but uh, we'll see it shortly, I imagine. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I don't know how you guys are getting any TV. What would y'all expect TV of right here? Oh, we've got some uh, Mission Control TV, uh, Crip, called out there in, uh, in the cap, 2-19. Mr. Fendel is uh, working some of your payload bay cameras. Oh, that TV. Okay, I knew I wasn't doing anything for you. Oh, Roger. It can do a much better job, anyhow. Columbia Houston, we've completed a handover through our friends at Tulip Peak. How do you read? Uh, Rick, your last was unreadable. Roger, talking to you through Tulip Peak now. Over. Roger, Tulip Peak, understand. And Columbia Houston, our crew procedures folks have uh, suggested that you might want to try to tape down that shoulder strap, uh, Crip. Columbia Houston, we've got an IMU Cal bias coming up to all three IMUs. It's a very minor tweak to them. Okay, we're standby. Roger, and uh, be advised, uh, we see no need to update your block data. That uh, looks good, uh, what you have in the books right now. Okay, thank you.
Plumby Houston now through Bermuda. Uh, we're looking at some real pretty pictures as you pass over the uh, northeast of the United States. And I do have a flight note on your PCS System 1 that we'd like you to accomplish to troubleshoot over. Uh, Roger, we're set about to do that. Okay, uh, right now uh, we'd like you to open on MO10W, your O2 regulator inlet, System 1, and uh, call up Spec 66 so you can monitor O2 reg pressure, System 1, when you flip that switch. Uh, we'd like you to observe that, and if O2 reg pressure, System 1, goes above 235 to 240, uh, we'd like you to close the MO10W switch, reg inlet, System 1. Over. What we are doing, uh, Crip, is troubleshooting whether that uh, O2 regulator uh, is functioning properly. Uh, once we have that information, uh, if we have not isolated it, uh, we'll have uh, some other procedures for you. Over. Okay, you want the regular system one to be opened up, and uh, you want it to monitor the reg pressure, and if it goes again above, say again, the number, you want to shut it? Roger, if it goes above 235 to 240, uh, we want you to close it, and that's the pressure that the uh, nitrogen would be re regulating at, uh, Okay, well, I'm going to open it up at this time. You guys can help me watch Roger. Okay, it's open. Roger. I think we just passed over Long Island there. Uh, Roger, and we've dropped out our uh, TV now. I think we uh, got a good shot at some of the uh, scattered clouds up over the northeast. Right. I've just filmed there's lots of clouds around the world. Roger. Man, beautiful shot of Cape Cod up here. I wish we could see it. Holy B. Lenore would like that one. To my uneducated eye, it would appear that opening up that uh, reg inlet made no difference into the into the red pressure. Red pressure. Roger, we concur. And we'll get back to you with uh, further words on that. Uh, currently, we can leave that switch open. Okay, if that's its nominal position. That sounds good. Uh, Rick, about when can we expect a uh, RCS2 pad for you, from you? Well, how about one second from now? We got it ready for you. Uh, well, let's see if we're ready for it. Okay, if you got time, uh, we got the time. Okay, here it comes uh, with a minute. Uh, post burn attitude is 48 decimal 6, 169 decimal 0, 304 decimal 2. End attitude time is. Three hours and 14 minutes. Read back. Two three niner. Two two six. Three two four. One four four by plus one four four. Delta V total three point three. He goes. Point zero six. Uh, six seconds. Multi-axis burn. Weight two zero seven five five seven. Tig. One day, two hours and 42 minutes, zero seconds. Delta VX is minus 0 0.8, Y plus 0 0.4, Z minus 3.2. Post burn at is 48.6, 169.0, 304.5, 1.4, 1.4, 2. End time is 314. Readback is good, and we'll see you in six minutes over Madrid. Columbia has passed out of range at the Bermuda. Madrid will uh, pick it up in five and a half minutes. We had uh, television from the payload bay cameras during this pass over the United States. Saw the interior of the uh, payload bay, and then the cameras were pointed uh, out the open doors, and we got a shot of. Uh, 
the northeastern United States as uh, Columbia passed over that region. We passed up a uh, procedure to troubleshoot the uh, oxygen regulator that uh, is believed to be causing the uh, problem in the pressurization control system in system uh, A. Uh, crew tried that and saw that found that they uh, made no difference in the uh, regulator pressure. It's not considered to be a severe problem. They reported a beautiful view of Cape Cod as they uh, crossed the coast. And we passed up uh, a pad for the reaction control system test, the number two burn about an hour or so from now. Delta V change in velocity for that burn is uh, 3.3 feet per second. The duration is uh, six seconds. It's a multi-access reaction control system burn. At one day, one hour, 45 minutes, this is Mission Control Houston. Madrid Comtech, Houston Comtech, air to ground one. Madrid Comtech? Stand by one. The Dakar Comtech, Houston Comtech, air to ground. Dakar Comtech, Houston Comtech, air to ground. Dakar Comtech, Houston Comtech, air to ground two. Houston Comtech, this is Dakar. Okay, stand by for key and check. Roger. Test one, two. Three, two, one. End of test. 100% clear. Okay, the car. Madrid Comtech, Houston Comtech, stand by for a key and check on air to ground one only. Madrid Houston air to ground one, test one. Two, three, two, one. End of test. Uh, Roger, air ground uh, one is uh, king, king 100%. Way to go. This is mission control at one day, one hour, 48 minutes mission elapsed time. Columbia approaching acquisition through Madrid. There'll be over overlapping coverage uh, through uh, Dakar. We'll play back the payload bay television after loss of signal at Descartes. Columbia, Houston, back with you through Madrid for four minutes. Okay, last play, Joe. Okay, and your pad is good for RCS2. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Probably an old Navy trick using a sea anchor. Right. And uh, Columbia, it looks good to us as well. Columbia, we're UHF only now through the car for 30 more seconds, and we'll be with you next through Yargadee in 30 minutes. This is Mission Control. That car has loss of signal. Columbia on its 18th orbit now. It's ground track uh, going diagonally down across Africa. Next contact will be through uh, the Yargadi station in Australia in 28 and a half minutes. We'll uh, play back the television from the payload bait cameras uh, now at uh, one day, one hour, 54 minutes. This is Mission Control Houston.
Butts want to contact Houston, air to ground. Butts want to. Uh, let me do a quick uh, voice and keying check. Houston contact, testing one, two, three, four, five, test out. Butts want to get 100% keying, modulation go. Raj, configure for the pass. Comtech, Houston, Comtech, air to ground one. Royal Comtech, Houston, Comtech, air to ground one. Royal Comtech, air to ground one, you're loud and clear. You're loud and clear, meet me, air to ground two. Roger. Royal Comtech, Houston, Comtech, air to ground two. Royal Comtech, air to ground two. Loud and clear, here. You're loud and clear. Yargity, Comtech, Houston, Comtech, air to ground two. Houston, Comtech, Yargity, Comtech. Stand by for a key and check. Houston contact test one, two, three, three, two, one. In the test. Roger, you're Roger, Roger, meet me on site cord. This is mission control at one day, two hours, 22 minutes elapsed time. We're standing by for communications through Yargadee. Hello, Columbia. This is Houston back with it through Yargadee for six minutes. How do you read? Okay, Crip, uh, we copy that, and if you've got time on your hands and a pad handy, I can read up to you the RCS test sequence number three. Raj, no hurry. Okay, RCS test sequence number three, the burn attitude solution numbers are three four two one three six and three two three targets a one forty four by one forty four delta v two decimal six and tigo is zero five it's a multi burn axis um, make that multi axis burn with a footnote do the burn in your RCS2 post burn attitude, the RCS2 post burn attitude, the weight 207480, TIG 001 slash 03420000 decimal 0, delta V's are plus 0 decimal 7. All balls and minus two a decimal five. The post burn at three one one decimal two one eight two decimal seven and zero one three decimal zero. 
the end attitude time is four hours and 44 minutes. Over. Okay, Joe, coming back at you. Attitude is three, four, the solution attitude is three, four, two, one, three, six, uh, three, two, two, one, forty, four by one, forty, four. Delta D total is two point six. That's uh, zero, three seconds. Multi-axis burn. Corrections. The burn attitude solution in the yaw is three two three. Three two three. The Tigo is five seconds. Three two three. Roger that. Tigo is five seconds. And the last correction, the delta V X is plus zero decimal seven. Over. Columbia, this is Houston. Over. Okay, Joe, uh, a couple of those I'd already, I'm mistakenly read back down on the uh, yaw for uh, the Burnett. It's 323. A Delta VX was plus 0 0.3. What else do you have? 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Uh, roger that, Griff. And the Tigo is five seconds. Okay, Crip, uh, Tigo is five seconds. Over. That, Columbia, this is Houston. We're having trouble copying uh, you. No comm problem, but uh, uh, we need a little stronger signal, which we'll get a Royal Valley in a couple minutes, and uh, we'll uh, finish the corrections there. Over. This is... Mission Control, Yargides had uh, loss of signal, but uh, Royal Valley will pick up Columbia in about 30 seconds. We'll stand by. Columbia, this is Houston. Over. Hello, Joe. How do you read now? Okay, Crip, you're loud and clear. We're going to send right. some Timbus to you on water quantities this pass. Okay, fine. I'll give you back those corrections you gave me a while ago. Uh, the yaw attitude was 323, the Tigo was 05, and the uh, Delta VX was plus 0 0.7. Okay, Bob, that's correct, and uh, the end attitude time, we think that's right, but uh, it's 4 hours and 44 minutes. Over. Roger, 4 hours, 44 minutes. Okay, uh, Columbia, we're showing you about 7 degrees out in yaw and it's an RCS burn coming up. Uh, uh, we're showing ohm selected at the moment. Okay, we, yeah, you're right, you're right. Thank you. And uh, that yaw fix itself uh, on the reload for the RCS. Roger right, that. Okay, Columbia, it looks uh, right on the money to us. We're with you for two more minutes here. John and Bob, the teleprinter message uh, that you might hear rattling on its way to you is uh, DFR recorder troubleshoot uh, procedure. Okay, thank you. Roger. In Columbia, on that message, after you've had a chance to read it, uh, we indicate uh, what the talkback should read. Uh, several times through it, uh, it's not clear that it will read that, and in any case, proceed on with that uh, procedure. Go right ahead with it. Uh, the talkback positions are <laughs> just for, uh, I guess, are just hopes on our part. Okay. 
Okay, Columbia RCS2, you want to be in roll 048.6169 and 304.2. Stand by one. You're implying we're not in the correct attitude? Uh, that's a firm. Uh, it's a multi axis burn. You want to be in that uh, post burn attitude, which is 48.6169 and 304.2. Multi-axis burn, always use post-burn attitude. And Columbia, we're in the blind. Uh, if you can't do it that way, do it in plus X. This is Mission Control. Aurora has a uh, loss of signal with Columbia. Next station is uh, Hawaii in 14 and a half minutes. During the... Uh, this combined Yargity Aurora pass in Australia. We passed up the information for the crew for the third reaction control system test. They're uh, about five and a half minutes away now from uh, performing the second RCS test. That time coming at uh, one day, two hours, 42 minutes. About five minutes, 20 seconds from now. For the third test, it uh, will be performed at one day, three hours, 42 minutes. Uh, the uh, delta velocity of, of the third one will be at 2.6 feet per second with a uh, burn time of...